Hi guys, how are y'all? Hope y'all are doing well. So I'm sitting here in downtown and that's why, you know, I have some of this and this because L'Occitane had a sale of lipsticks. So half off. So why not? You know, I don't know. I think it's not bad. But anyhow, um, it is Happy New Year to all of you. And this video is about uh, a trip that we tried to make. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, especially now with Omicron as well. So during the holidays, we were like, is it even possible to travel? So we tried. And um, this video is about our attempt uh, at traveling. Now you'll have to see whether we succeeded or not. And before that, there was a little bit of Christmas buzz. So I've thrown in that as well. And uh, so come with me and see if we made it or not amidst all this craziness that's going on right now. So guys, this time of year, we have to go shopping whether we like it or not because there's Christmas coming up. Yeah, this was recorded before Christmas and before we made our trip. So not the best time of year to go shopping. It's so busy and packed. But I have to buy gifts for my children, for my husband, because we think we're going to celebrate that here before we go on our trip. Um, because there's no point carrying gifts for each other uh, to a foreign destination, you know. And also I'll have to take some gifts for my parents um, since I plan to meet them after two long years. So Christmas or no Christmas, uh, Apple Store is busy as always. Um, so I'm here, I'm thinking I'll buy my son an AirPod and uh, call it a day. Can't go wrong with that. Look at this line here. This is a different store, of course, and uh, it's winding all the way across. I didn't buy anything here. I just saw the line and I ran back to my car. Just look at it. We're still going. I'm still walking uh, around this line. Christmas time is crazy. Cray cray, as the kids would say. And now we're at the cashier. Wow. I think my parents would like a couple things from Target. So I'm here. I also have to pick up some stuff for myself. Look at all the lovely products you can buy here. OXO products are so great for the kitchen. Uh, who am I kidding really? I love buying things. I guess I just pretend not to like it because, you know, I just couldn't be bothered to get myself to the store. But once I'm here, let's face it, I do enjoy it quite a bit. Thank God for the checkout line here, made things a lot faster. And uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of enjoy doing this because I pretend I'm a cashier. And uh, there's a certain pleasure to be derived uh, from when the barcode scans with a beep. Or is that just me? That's quite bad. Happy kind of money. Happy kind of like that. So satisfying. And uh, now here I'm Costco. Um, I'm here to pick up masks because I need the N95 masks for our travel for you know using in the plane and then I also need the basic black masks uh, which I believe uh, for about $10 I get uh, 75 of them which is quite nice because I'm getting tired of just the white and blue ones so I think black masks would be nice. So here we are trying to get our PCR test done before our trip. Uh, they made us run around quite a bit. We had to go to San Francisco but it worked out um, because we went to my daughter's apartment and uh, she had to pick up some stuff so so that was fine we didn't mind the drive over we also went and got ourselves some tea and we got some takeout and ate in the apartment uh, just look at those lovely golden lanterns on the street isn't that lovely oh my gosh beautiful so while we're doing all this i want to tell you about uh, what we needed to prepare for the trip so we needed the copy of the pcr test we needed uh, to fill in a health declaration form for the destination country and of course copies of the um, covid shots that we had taken so we took copies of everything with us printouts um, you know because for something like this which is so uncertain and you cannot really uh, over prepare enough so um, so I felt better that we had all of this paper in place so here we are having a very early Christmas at home because one of the kids was insistent that we captured the joy of Christmas even though it's not Christmas and initially I was thinking oh gosh what a pain there's so much work to be done before an international trip during COVID 
Why do we need to do this? Then I was like, this is nice. I'm glad we took the trouble to do this. And before you knew it, I had lost all control and I was screaming like a child. Dad, <laughs> And it's, guess what it is? Oh it's the hot cocoa mix. <laughs> Guys, someone also gave me uh, an oversized men's bracelet. Put it on your thigh. <laughs> we won't go into who it was, but I know it came from a place of love and uh, good intentions. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it, it is a nice car. So guys, next day and we're here at the San Francisco International Airport. And as you can tell, we're a little nervous, but looks like we have all our papers. That's what they told us. For PCR test and for pass. And we're set. We are ready to go on the first leg of our journey. We have been cleared and we're at the gate and it looks quite busy. It's pretty packed as you can see. And uh, one of the differences we found now is that the seats are separated. So in that sense, there's a little bit of social distancing etiquette being followed here. Thanks um, to alternate seats being blocked off on our way and no stopping us right now the flight here looks rather full doesn't it um yep quite busy <laughs> so this time we flew qatar airways and we have one layover um in doha it's a rather long transit but you know we'll figure it out when we get there what's different now is also that the uh, flight attendants are wearing a protective uh, disposable sort of uh, gear over their uniforms guys and they have indian food this is chicken biryani and i must tell you this is very flavorful i'm so excited that i'm flying in the direction where the food is getting really flavorful and uh, much tastier <laughs> sorry but uh, I, I like my food well seasoned and this was a snack some kind of a masala pastry so this also had some spices in there and then i asked for some coffee i think on the side so we're all comfortably settled in, ready to take on the long haul. And here we are at our first stop at the Hamad International Airport in Doha. And I must say it's quite a nice airport. Oh look, Lard Rock, uh, the lovely chocolate store. I think they're from Switzerland. So my husband discovered this when he went um, to Switzerland on a business trip. And I believe these big blocks of chocolate are just delicious because they are freshly made and that's why they're called freshogi um, so that's what you want to get because they just taste their best and a gold store here oh my god the lure and the color of gold i wish i could buy it but i with the gold store i never know where to start but beautiful so now here we are at one of the best discoveries we made at this airport was to stop at harrods uh, they have a little tea room you know it was really nice you had to wait a little bit to get a seat look at that lovely coffee the cake was okay um, but a comfortable seating and i just felt like i was in london for a little bit we had a lot of time to kill my daughter got some tea over here and more coffee looks so pretty and then a burger and some truffle fries quite delicious uh, the fries were really nice um, and we could just sit here for hours they didn't object and this is fish and chips but I was surprised to see that it was a whole block you know not uh, like fish fingers as you get in the US so I'm sitting here very comfortably with my feet up Indian style at Harrods oh we've come a long way haven't we uh, but this kind of worked out while no one was looking we sat like this I just needed to do that to be comfortable don't you think my son here to me it looks like he is um, sleeping with his eyes open <laughs> it was it was uh, a, you know we had to wait eight hours the sleep lounges were all fully booked so we just sat here and wild away at time and the staff was fantastic they didn't bother us loved this little secret maybe 
to Hamad International Airport. Okay, so now we are on the second leg of the journey, but this is much shorter, uh, only five hours. And uh, so it's time to watch some uh, movies again. So I watched a couple movies. I thought the Indian options, Hindi and Malayalam weren't that great. So I went with uh, Hollywood. Uh, so saw this movie, Stillwater, uh, with Matt Damon. And it's about um, this American man who goes to France uh, to uh, meet his daughter who's been thrown in prison. So it was kind of, a, you know, like a good storytelling, slow. Uh, and I find it much easier to watch movies when I'm on a flight. So I gave it my full attention. Attention. Um, so and I thought I'll practice my French too watching you know um, this movie <laughs> and this was the other movie of this lady who uh, has lost her fortune and she's come to the end of um, all her wealth and moves to Paris again so another French connection there and this was called French Exit um, so a quirky movie like a Wes Anderson movie and we've landed oh my gosh after the long haul uh we are at customs and i have to say i mean every country is going to be different especially and the rules are going to be different but i have to say this went and uh, moved really fast so no problems at all um you know if i guess we were we had done it all the paperwork was taken care of so all was good now i want you to guess where are we so guess our holiday destination uh, i'm going to give you a little bit of a clue just uh well just just this view and uh let me know where you can find such beautiful blue turquoise waters and uh, i will t reveal the destination on my next video so guys join me in the next video to see where we actually went and in the meantime keep guessing the destination until next time bye bye